Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Trey Hardy here. Got the old dogaroo tigger. Okay, so we're in Al Lopez Park right now. We're gonna enter the Richard and Annette Block Cancer Survivors Plaza. Come on, Tigger. So we just entered the plaza. It's got a sign that's telling you what cancer is. Cancer is the uncontrolled growth of cells. It is the most feared disease in America because it is not understood, even though it is not the largest killer. If we understand cancer, we would not be as afraid of it. It is estimated that the average individual has a wildly dividing cell six times a day. The immune system recognizes this, kills it, and we never know the difference. When the immune system lets down, even temporarily, and these dividing cells get established to the point that the immune system cannot control them, we have cancer. Okay, we're coming up now on a, I guess, a, a mural. Kids with cancer made these. Come on, Tig. Come on, bud. Stop walking in circles. Cancer survivor, that's what's up. Cancer brings my family together. Family should always be together. Especially in times like that. God is my strength and my shield. On chemo with God, without God. Yeah, this is a uh, down Mabry Highway that I'm on right now. All right, let's go on with the rest of the tour. Sorry, I sound like I'm out of breath, but uh, whew, it sure is a hot one out here today. Woo! All right, commitment. The biggest and the hardest single thing that you will be required to do the entire battle is to make up your mind to really fight it. You must, on your own, must make the commitment that you will do everything in your power to fight your disease, no exceptions. Nothing halfway, nothing for the sake of ease or convenience. Everything, nothing short of it. When you have done this, you have accomplished the most difficult thing you will have accomplished throughout your entire life. Treatment. It's like there's another one over here. So there's a couple more uh, things to read. Knowledge. Knowledge is a cancer patient's best friend. The more you know about your disease, the better your chances are of beating it. Find out everything you can about your disease. Knowledge heals, ignorance kills. Read the book, Fighting Cancer, available free from 800-433-0464. Physical welfare. Eat a well-balanced diet to maintain an effective immune system. Do not go on any fad diets at this time. Exercise as much as you comfortably can. Be selfish, think of yourself, and do not overdo. Treatments, find a qualified physician who believes you can be successfully treated. Get an independent second opinion to be certain you are doing everything possible correctly. Do everything your physician suggests and do everything you believe might help that your physician says will not hurt. You are the boss, this is your life. All right, now we're in the center. This is almost the end of the, uh, the trail. So let's go take a look. There are 8 million living Americans who have been diagnosed with cancer. 3 million are considered cured. Some people have been cured from every type of cancer. There are treatments for every type of cancer. Cancer is the most curable of all chronic diseases. With appreciation to all cancer patients and scientists and physicians, I just read the backwards, who have gone before us, so the present treatments are available. <coughs> Excuse me. Positive and mental attitude walk. Five-year cancer survivors may register by calling 
Make up your mind that when your cancer is gone, you are through with it. Read and practice suggestions in the book, Fighting Cancer, available free from 1-800-433-0464. Sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath, but yeah, it's a hot one today. Whew. Have plans for pleasant things to do and goals to accomplish. Seek and accept support. Always, yes. Seek and accept support. Cancer's no joke. Fuck cancer. To anybody that has it, hopefully you have a speedy recovery. Get PDQ state of the art treatment information from 1 800 for cancer. Know all your options, knowledge heals. There's a couple more going along the circle that we entered. Regardless of the prognosis, get an independent qualified second opinion. Yes, always. Find a qualified doctor in whom you may have confidence, who believes he can successfully treat you. Yes, always. I think there's like two more things to read. Then we're gonna take the uh, the walk down the end of the uh, trail. Make a commitment to do everything in your power to help yourself fight the disease. Yes, always. Treat your cancer promptly, properly, and thoroughly, and have a positive mental attitude. Yes, always have a positive mental attitude. Realize that cancer is a life-threatening disease, but some beat it. Make up your mind. Will you be one of those who do? If you have cancer and you watch this video, hopefully you're, the, you're one of the people that do. Okay, so we're coming up on the end of the trail right now. I think this is called the positivity walk. As you can see, I'm out here on Down Mabry and Martin Luther King. That's the Buck Stadium over there in the background. Let me get a zoom in. Oh yeah. The Richard and Annette Block. Cancer Survivors Plaza, Al Lopez Park. Well, this is Trey Hardy here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this video. I just wanna say fuck cancer. If you're a cancer survivor, congratulations to you. If you have cancer, hang in there. Everything's gonna get better. And uh, I'll see you on the next vlog.